how Rust works in its most simple form is that you have to understand the difference between the stack and the heap. Everything is allocated onto the stack. Now, there are pointers into the heap. When your stack item goes out of scope, drop gets called on, on it, which means that if you have a function and in it you allocate something, say a string, which allocates to the heap, you're going to have a stack item that's going to be a fat pointer that's going to be the pointer plus the length, effectively. I'm sure, and I'm sure there's a, one other item. I'm sure there's like capacity or something like that as well. I'm sure there's like some other thing when it comes to the capital S string that I don't know about, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. And when this thing leaves scope, drop gets called, and this gets dropped along with the pointer to the heap gets dropped, meaning it gets free. So in other words, this thing gets, uh, you know, it's very easy to call free on items because you don't call free yourself. Free gets handled by Rust. So that means there was a malloc called here for the string. If you return the string, then no free is called. Instead, the free is then, that stack pointer is then returned to wherever the calling is, and then it keeps on going until its only stack reference gets cleaned up, and then the free happens, right? Malloc chills return, yeah, it happens. So that's like the basics of Rust for those that don't know what Rust is. Uh, there you go. What is an ARC mutex? Well, ARC stands for Atomic Reference Counting, meaning that it has that same stack-based allocation, except for that stack-based allocation has a pointer to the heap where the thing is stored, and it has a counter. And that counter is an atomic int, not just a regular int. So when this thing gets dot .cloned, this counter goes up by one. When your stack variable gets removed, it gets dropped, this count goes down by one. When it reaches zero, the pointer to the heap is then cleaned up. It's like, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, right? Like it's a pretty straightforward thing, right? Uh, and a mutex is just a semaphore of length one. Easy. You didn't know that? What are you, a loser? Yeah, welcome to the 90s. Yeah, welcome to the 90s, everybody. Shared pointer then. Yeah, it's literally a shared pointer. An arc mutex is a shared pointer. So shallow clones, yes. Uh, clones clone the stack. Remember that. When you call dot clone, it usually clones the stack. Except for in Rust, Rust is a little bit more confusing. Typically, you clone stacks. You don't clone heaps. In Rust, you clone heap or stack depending on the, on the data structure. Again, this is why I say that Rust is generally a complicated language because you need to understand when something clones the stack versus clones the heap. Right? So an arc clones the stack, not the heap. If you do string.clone, you clone the stack and the heap. You have to have all these like rules in your head to do effective um, rust.